day, Tom was thinking about how much he'd like a slice of bread with strawberry jam and honey. He went out for a walk, but he just couldn't stop thinking about that slice of bread with strawberry jam and honey. After a while, he came across his good friend, the miller. Hello there, miller. Do you have a slice of bread with strawberry jam and honey for me? No. But I can give you a plain slice, and you can probably get a strawberry from the strawberry mouse. She has a huge field of strawberries. Tom thought this was a wonderful idea, so the miller gave him a plain slice of bread and they said goodbye. Off Tom went to find the strawberry mouse. Hello, strawberry mouse. Could you please give me one of your delicious strawberries? Give a strawberry? Never! All strawberries belong to me! All strawberries belong to me, I say. Who do you think you are? Do you have any idea how hard I worked to grow all these strawberries? I planted every single seed with my own two paws. The crocodile remembered things rather differently. But the strawberry mouse still wasn't finished. Go and plant your own strawberry if you think you're man enough. Tom thought this was a wonderful idea. Well, how about you give me a strawberry seed and if I manage to grow a strawberry, I can use your strawberry masher for free. Mm, OK, let's spit on it. Yes, let's spit on it. Tom found a nice sunny place in the field and he planted the seed. Then he sat down and waited. And he waited. And he waited. He waited so long that he got hungry and took a bite out of his bread. Tom, hang on. You still need your bread. By dawn, a huge strawberry had grown. Now it had to be turned into strawberry jam. You again, you filthy, rotten strawberry thief! No, no, I have my own strawberry this time. I just want to borrow your strawberry masher. That was the deal. The strawberry mouse had no choice. She had to let Tom use her strawberry masher. And now I'll stomp the strawberry. <clears throat> I am an internationally renowned strawberry stomper, so stand back. I'll stomp the strawberry. And with that, the crocodile stomped the strawberry into strawberry jam. Now then, if you give me some honey, I'll give you the rest of my jam. Oh, OK. Let's spit on it. Yes, let's spit on it. Hooray! Honey! Thanks very much! And so Tom finally had half a slice of bread with strawberry jam and honey tasted just as good as if it had been a whole slice. And he spent the rest of the day in the strawberry field, thinking about nothing at all.